Hey G Squad, welcome back to my soda. Is it worth it? So this episode is this cool, amazing rod right here in my hand. And basically what this is, is an electric thermometer that you can use to check temperatures. Basically not use this for human. You guys can only use this for like fans, coolers, uh, cooking like your wok or whatever. Then this is basically what that's for. And the reason why you should not use it for human is because it actually use a laser to check like the temperature and everything which i'll show you guys how to use it in a second but this is basically what the packaging looks right here they actually have these in different colors so you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer so first and foremost if you guys are curious about what are all the different buttons and everything that's for the different parts on here you guys for this image right here next how do you guys use the product itself it's actually pretty straightforward once you guys have everything all ready you guys can actually press the little button right here and hold it down to actually scan it and you should get a pretty fast result in terms of the battery that's on the product itself you do need to get a replaceable battery if you guys finish using the product itself or the battery dies so it's probably more ideal for you guys to get a rechargeable battery so that way you're going to buy a new one every single time and last but not least they mentioned for the product itself they do use high quality material to make this product itself to prevent it from like wear and tears scratches and extreme weather so that is basically everything that's on the product itself now let me actually open up to show you guys what is included inside and how to actually use it. So the way how you guys open it is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go on the side right here. Be very careful and just open like this. All right. So that's basically how you guys open the product itself. So first thing you can see, they do probably got a user manual right here to teach you guys how to use it and all the different functionality that's on here. And then right here, we have the actual product itself. And then inside right here, they actually tell you guys to remove the plastic wrap inside the actual battery itself first before you can use it. And basically curious, here's some more specs that's on the product itself. Some of them I already mentioned on here, but this is basically what the product looks like right here. If you can see, so they have three buttons. So I believe there's a light indicator button right here. Here's another button. We'll find out what that is for in a second. Right here is a button to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then right here is the laser itself. So you just want to press this part right here to aim it to wherever you want. Obviously, when you guys use it, don't aim it at your eye or don't aim it at your face. And don't aim it at anyone else's eyes and face as well. Right here is a button you guys want to press to activate it. And then right here on the side, you can see they have opening right here and opening right here, right here as well so you guys don't pull this open right here and that is basically where you put the battery inside right here and you can see the battery is all nicely wrapped up so that's the plastic wrap that they mentioned they just need to remove to actually use it but that's basically what the inside looks like right there so if you want to be safe it's probably ideal for you guys to remove the battery every single time you guys finish using it so that way no one can actually press it and aim the laser on their eyes so it's definitely one thing to kind of remember and consider and here's some more specs that's on the product itself like i mentioned earlier as well and here's some more caution that they provide for you guys as well to be careful when you guys use it and the way how they build the product itself it gives you guys a very nice grip to use it right here so you just have to press this part down and hold it to scan the actual temperature itself and the temperature will be shown on this display screen right here but that is basically everything that's on the product itself let me check out the battery install in here and get a fan to show you guys what actually works all right let's put in the battery inside right here so the big one should go to the small one and the small one should go to the big one like this all right so once you get it in it should look something like that and you guys want to put this back inside right here all right so we got the battery in and everything so once we press the button and see it activates right there so i press the light button it basically just lights up the screen right there or turn it off if we press on this button right here it changed from celsius to fahrenheit if we press on the bottom button right here, that's for the laser option. So you can see, activate the laser right there. So I press the laser, you can see the laser right there. So that is basically how you use all the different buttons on here. Now let's test it out to see when it actually works. So first thing I want to do is to check the temperature on the actual fan itself before we turn on to see what the temperature is first. So the temperature is around 74.3. And that before we turn on the fan. Now let's try again and turn on the fan and see what the actual temperature is. So I'll try on speed level one first. All right, so speed level one. Let's see how hot it is now. So you can see the temperature went down. It's around 70 now. Let's try again, but bring the fan higher. We'll bring it to speed level three. So now it's on speed level three. Let's try again. So you can see the temperature is definitely going down. It's at 67 now because of the fan that we turn on. All right, so you can definitely see the product itself, it definitely does work. You can see the temperature went from like around 74, 75, all the way down to like 67 or so once we turn on the fan. But you definitely see the actual product itself, it definitely does work even when we use it to check like temperature for a fan right here. I definitely love how they have that safety feature built into the actual product itself where you guys can turn off or on the actual laser itself just as a safety precaution just in case if someone actually pressed it but that is basically everything that's on the product itself in terms of how to actually use it now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not so for me honestly i definitely have to say that these are actually pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these especially if you guys do need to get one of these for like cooking checking temperatures in your car or doing any kind of repairs and just to check the like the temperature at your home for your different appliances or whatever then these are actually pretty worth it <laughs> 
But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have to use one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.